Hey, Spider Wayne here, and lately I've had a lot of questions on how did I make those 360 videos that I threw out on YouTube recently, where one of them looked like I was driving around on a little planet, and if I stopped, it looked like I was gonna fall off. And the other one, where you could use your mouse or keyboard keys to move around in the video itself. So, I'm gonna tell you how I did it. Let's jump right in. All right, when you open the box, you will get your Ricoh camera. It is a Theta M15. Comes in blue, red, white, and yellow. So um, there's a lens in the front, lens in the back. They're each 180 degrees to create a 360 video. Um, you got your microphones on top, and everything on here picks up pretty well. It's pretty neat, because when you're holding this camera, it kind of, it doesn't pick up right here, or it stitches it in a way where it does, you can't see that you're holding something. So it's pretty neat. Um, to turn it on, you push this button, and this light right here means that it is uh, ready for my wireless connection. So um, let me go ahead and connect it to wireless to show you. Go to Wi-Fi. And for me, it's the Theta right there. And when you first connect it, it'll ask you for the serial number. And the serial number is located right here. It's really small, but it's right here next to the USB port where you could charge up your um, camera or pull pictures and videos off of it. And the tripod mount is right there too. It's just a standard uh, quarter 20 or whatever the standard is. And um, this is the shutter button. So set it down, hold it, whatever you're gonna do and push it. So I hate that beep. I contacted Rico, they said that you can't turn that off it comes on for pictures and videos. I hope in a future release that they do something so that you can turn that off. Um, okay, so right now I took a picture. If I wanted to do video, you gotta turn it off again and you have to hold down your wireless button and turn the power on at the same time. Now, if I push this button here, it'll start doing video. So now it's recording video. Um, I'm gonna actually actually post some things for you to see. So we will ignore all that. And I'm gonna turn this off and show you what you get in the box. You get the camera, you get a little pouch with a belt uh, slot here, and your USB cable. It takes one of those real thin uh, micro cables. I think that's a micro USB cable. Anyway, so those are the parts that you get. Now what I want to do really quick is I want to show you the software on the phone and then I'm going to get to how I edited everything in, in um, Final Cut Pro. Okay, so now I'm connected to it. If I wanted to, I could actually take a picture using my phone. So I could just, and there you go. And now it's downloading the image. All right, and there's the picture, so. Hey, there's somebody I recognize. Okay, let's get out of this. Now, you got some settings here with the white balance and the ISO, which is helpful, but it only helps with photo. It doesn't seem to have any effect when you're trying to do video. So, um, you can't even adjust these when you're doing video. I don't believe they even show up. So, I hope that is something. Again, with the sh shutter priority, all of this stuff I wish would work with video because it would be really helpful. Okay, so then you can get out of here and you can go to your uh, camera rolls. You can look at the photos and videos that are on. Well, you can't really look at the videos until you download them to your computer, but you can download the photos from here. You can view them from here. This is a recent photo when I was at the Japanese um, summer festival recently. So. That's one of the videos I put up recently. So now we're gonna get into the software with uh, Final Cut Pro. Okay, just to let everybody know before we get started, this video is being completely made on an iMac. And Final Cut Pro 10, um, if you're on Windows machine or anything else, hopefully this will still guide you into the right direction. To get this going, you're gonna need the Ricoh Theta M15 360 video camera. You're gonna need their Theta software, which is downloadable on their website. I will put a link below this video. Uh, you're gonna need to go out and get some test footage. You're gonna need a video editing software, like what, like I said earlier, 
I'll be using Final Cut Pro 10. Not sure what everybody else will be using. Hopefully this will help. You're gonna need Apple's image capture and another real important piece of software that you're gonna need is the YouTube injection software. That's downloadable at the YouTube website. I'm also gonna put a link to that below this video. Um, the two softwares that I mentioned are free, so don't worry about that. And then last but not least, you're gonna need your YouTube account to upload your video. All right, go out, get some footage, bring your camera back in, and that's where the image capture software comes in. And here's the movie that I just filmed for you guys. I created a 360 test folder that I'm gonna download it to. So let's go ahead and get that import going. All right, now that we got the file right here, I'm gonna close this window, we no longer need it. This .mov file, you're gonna need that file now to open up in the Theta software, the Rico Theta software. So it's also a viewer. So what you're gonna do, um, if you were going to put a picture in, you could just drag the photo in and it would be pretty much done. Here we're gonna drag this in. It's gonna come up with another window asking where you wanna save it. I told it to save it to my 360 test folder. So let's go ahead and convert that. And again, I'm gonna fast forward and I'll be right back. Okay. All right, so if you want, um, let's get rid of this folder first. This one here, this file, you can see I can move around. I'm on a bike. I'm gonna go right around the neighborhood. And a couple things you can do here. You could just close this and leave it as it is and start working in Final Cut Pro. But really quick, I wanted to show you, if you zoom out, it kind of turns into this little round ball here. It's kind of neat. If you back out a little bit and you move it around, you can kind of get this appearance like it's a little planet. I think it's kind of neat. The only problem with this is that if you want to save it, you're going to have to use some kind of a capturing software like uh, ScreenFlow, which is what I'm using right now, and then uh, take that video and post it to YouTube. Unfortunately, you won't be able to interact with it. You won't be able to move around in it like a real 360 video. So this is mainly just for effect, for fun, kind of useless, but neat at the same time. So. All right, let's move on. Okay, so once Final Cut Pro opens, you're gonna to wanna to create yourself a new library. At least that's the way I do it. I'm just gonna call this 360 How To. And um, I'm gonna make a new folder to put that in. 360 How To. And I'll stick it in there. Okay, so now what we're gonna wanna do once that gets created, is go ahead and create a project. All right, so once you get that up, let's go ahead and create a project. And I don't care about names right now because we're not really doing this for anything special. And we could import but I'm just going to grab the file and drag it in. All right, so now I have the file. Now, what's really important here is that once you have the file in Final Cut Pro, don't grab it and drag it down to your timeline. That won't work. You need to right mouse click on the full file and open in timeline. It kind of breaks it up and this is where you can work on things like the audio file. You can change the audio file. You can make it higher or lower or whatever. In the video, you can add text if you want. I'll show you real quick what that's like. I'll come over into my text editor. I'll just grab like a basic title. Works every time. Plunk that down in there. 360 fun. Okay, so we'll just move this 
you're going to have to play with the placement of this because if you put it too high or too low, then when the video first starts, people will not see it. You're going to want to move it around, find out where it fits best. Unfortunately, you can't really view it, like preview it until you've rendered it. So you're just going to have to deal with it and figure out where it fits best. You can make any changes here. You can brighten or darken or whatever you want to do. You can do it here. All right, so now once that's done, you're going to want to come over here and save it as a master file. And in here, you're going to go into settings, make sure that it's set correct. So I'm going to export this with this computer. This is going to be checked off here because I think by default it's up here. Change it to computer. I like to put my video codec to H.264. Okay. And uh, for better quality and everything else, I leave the same. Hit next. Pick where you want to save it. I'm going to throw it on my desktop. I'm going to leave the name alone. And this will render out. And once it's done, I'll be back. Okay, so once it's done rendering, I'm going to minimize Final Cut Pro. I could close it because we don't need it anymore, but I'm just going to minimize it for now. Here's the finished file. As you can see, it's, it's done, but it's not really done. We're just done with the Final Cut Pro part. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get that YouTube injection tool, which I have right here. And you can't drag the file in there. So you're going to go to your desktop. Look for the file. This one right here. And inject and save. It does that really fast. I'll call it done. And I'll save it. And here we go. So here's the finished file. It's still going to look weird because it's not playing in the correct viewer. But if I bring up the Theta software and I drag it in there, it should work. And there's 360 Fun. All right. So that's how you add text to your 360 video. So after you get that all done, you can simply just upload this file to YouTube and call it a day. If you're looking for a 360 video, Check out the Theta M15 by Ricoh. This camera is a lot of fun to have. It's easy to carry around. Go take a lot of photos, take a lot of videos, post them down in the comments below so I can check it out. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Ah! 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 Ah!